resist. I've actually had this anthology for a while now, probably a year or maybe two even. But uh, it just occurred to me when I saw it sitting there that it might make for a nice video. So let's take a closer look at it, shall we? is the Skyrim logo, but I, uh, it's technically the symbol of the Empire, and I believe it's Akadosh, one of the divines. art in the background, some screenshots.
was featured in every game that followed. So let's move on to the next game. package. It's nice. So, Daggerfall was the second Elder Scrolls game. And, uh, following in the footsteps of Arena, it was another first-person RPG. But, uh, Daggerfall took Arena and uh, pumped it up to a thousand
also the first Elder Scrolls game to uh, feature a soundtrack and original score by the incomparable uh, Jeremy Soule. Um, he's one of my very favorite video game composers. I think the music he writes is just amazing. And uh, he has scored uh, Oblivion and more, or and, uh, excuse me, Skyrim since Morrowind. Uh, in the Elder Scrolls games, anyway, he scored all kinds of other games as well. Um, and of course, there was original music in uh, Daggerfall and Arena as well, but uh, Jeremy Soul's soundtracks are just uh, a treat in and of their own, and I think they add such uh, an important layer of depth to the worlds. It's like 
to say I think that the Skyrim was not the right game for his team to debut that feature with. Uh, the community's been there for too long and is too well established. Anyway, moving right along.
was a gorgeous game, a beautiful open game. Uh, it did trade some of the alien feeling of Morrowind for a much more typical high fantasy feeling, but it also
success. Oblivion had been quite successful uh, selling, I think, uh, oh, I don't know for sure, but for some reason the word, the number six or seven million is, is coming to mind. You know, millions of copies anyway. And Morrowind before it had been quite popular as well. In fact, Morrowind uh, was the game that pulled Bethesda Game Studios uh, back from the brink of uh, financial ruin, from what I understand. And with each successive release beyond that, they've just garnered uh, more and more uh, accolades for their games, more and more fans of the series. And again, I'm not positive about these sales numbers, but I believe that Skyrim has sold well north of 20 million copies, which is a lot. <laughs> uh, that's got to put it up in some of the best-selling games of all time, which is fantastic because I cannot wait to see what uh, Bethesda Game Studios puts together next. Now, of course, there is The Elder Scrolls Online, which was not developed by Bethesda Game Studios. It was developed by Zenimax Online and published by Bethesda Softworks. Uh, I don't consider it to be a core Elder Scrolls game. It's a competent MMO. Uh, it does some fun stuff. And if you like the world of the Elder Scrolls and want to see more of it, uh, you could do a lot worse especially now that it's uh, buy-to-play, so no monthly sub. But uh, it is not um, an Elder Scrolls game in spirit, um, just in appearance. It is a traditional MMO in a lot of ways. Elder Scrolls game will be, we do not know. There's been an area peep from Bethesda Game Studios regarding what they're working on next. Although this E3, E3 2015, uh, which is coming up in uh, oh, very soon actually, a couple of weeks, boy that snuck up, um, I do know that uh, Bethesda has a, a press conference and some pretty big announcements to make from what I get what I understand. So, uh, while I don't expect to see a new Elder Scrolls game, I am willing to bet that we're going to see a new Fallout game announced, which is fantastic in its own right, but it also means we're one step closer to uh, the Elder Scrolls uh, 6. Whenever there, that may be, and whatever that uh, might look like, so... I can't wait. So now um, we come to the maps in the back of the book. spend too much time on these maps, uh, simply because at some point I would like to do a full video looking at just these maps, and talking about some of the geography of Tamriel and uh, Nern, and, uh, you know, pointing out major points of interest and things like that. But let's at least take a quick look through these maps, browse through them to see what there is.
is uh, shared by Phelan Wood and elsewhere, the uh, homelands of the Wood Elves, the Bosmer, and the Khajiit, cat folk, respectively. And isolated away here in the southwestern corner of uh, Damriel, we have the Somerset Isles.
cities and holds that uh, we're familiar with. White Run in the Central Plains, Solitude on the North Coast, Larkarth in the mountains to the West. Uh, 
Scrolls and the 